Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me and watch this video. Today we will make a cover for legal pads. I know we haven't done them for a little while so I figure why not. So this pad purchased from Dollar Tree, the measurements are 5 by 8 and the width is approximately 3 8 3 eighths of an inch. We will use chipboard. So we will use two pieces, one by eight and a half, one piece two by eight and a half, and two pieces five and a half by eight and a half. For this project I will use this collection, full plaid. I purchased this one from Michaels. I think it has beautiful colors, beautiful papers on the inside. And I used this uh, pad already for some other projects. So for this one I will use this paper for the outside and this one to cover the inside of the cover. Now, I have membership to create the Fabrica and I printed these papers. I think they will go very nicely with this project for decoration for the front. So I will use that for the inside and also for the outside flap. I think if you have any other paper that will match the main paper of your cover, I think it's going to look gorgeous. Many of you purchased this one, my special papers. And, for example, there is this paper, which look, looks, I think, beautiful for the fall, but there is so many other papers in here that you could use with your uh, paper plaid collection. Um, because it just, there's so many colors in here, I'm sure you can find something that you can use for decoration. I will also use cardstock. I will use one sheet 8.5 by 11 and I will use two sheets 12 by 12. Now if you don't have 12 by 12 then most likely you're gonna need a total of four 8.5 by 11 and for the cover you will have to glue them three papers um, just one on the top of the other to extend the length of your working uh, area. So this one I will put on the side for now and we will start with our cardstock. So the cardstock we will pre-cut to ten and a half. And of course we will pre-cut both pieces. So the ten and a half inch dimension it's from top to bottom and we will glue this just like that. So I will align it with my board to make sure I'm gluing this straight. And if you don't have a board like I do you can put ruler underneath just to make sure that you are gluing this straight. Okay. So now we will position our chipboard. So the first piece will be five and a half by eight and a half, leaving approximately one inch space all around. Then we will place one inch by eight and a half. 
then another one five and a half by eight and a half next to it will be one by eight and a half and the last one two by eight and a half so now we will glue all the pieces just as I position them right here. So we are leaving approximately one eighth of an inch space right in between the chipboard. Now again, when you position this into place, when you are gluing this, you could put your ruler right underneath to make sure that you are gluing all the pieces straight. So you can do that if you think it will help you. panels glued <clears throat> and now I will just trim the paper on this side right here leaving approximately one inch of that paper and I will hold this we will need that so now we can just or all around fold it over all four sides and we will run the spatula for that really nice crisp look we need to miter the corners so basically we are cutting on the angle cutting out the side leaving a little bit of that card stuck just to make sure we can nicely wrap those corners and we won't see the chipboard okay so now we will glue this Okay, so if you think your corners are too sharp, you can just round them up a little bit with your spatula. And now we will work right in between the chipboard. So you can take your bone folder or your spatula and just create that little indentation in here. Basically, we are trying to stretch that paper not to cut it but stretch it so be gentle and don't push it too hard okay and this will be our cover make sure that everything is glued well I see that this one this is where the joint is it's lifting just a tiny bit so I can put just a little bit more glue and this will be our cover
<clears throat> so now we need to cover the spine so to cover that I have little card stuck left and we will cut three inches and I have another piece that I need to pre-cut to eight inches by two and this one should be also I'm going to make it eight inches <clears throat> so now with the three inch width we will cover this side right here by the flap That's going to be perfect. Okay, try to put it on the middle between the top and the bottom. Okay, I will run the spatula right in between the chipboard. <clears throat> Again, just to create that little indentation. Okay. Because we should be able to close this. So as you can see, I'm pushing a little bit and closing at the same time. And we gotta make sure that this is all glued. So now on this side, <clears throat> this is the two inch piece, we will glue it just like that, only to the edge of this chipboard, just like this. We are trying to cover this side. Let's run the spatula to create this indentation. And now we will work this so we can actually fold the page. And <clears throat> here is our cover. You can make sure that everything is glued nice and straight, that nothing is poking up or puckering up around that. So now, for this side, I did not want to cover this space in between the chipboard, the, the one inch chipboard and this one, because we will include or insert in here another page. Okay, so for to cover this and create another page, I'm taking that additional sheet that I mentioned to you, I will use. And let's make sure this is eight and a half, which it is. And we will cut this down to seven inches. And now we will score. So the height is eight and a half, and we will score this at one inch, one and a half, and two. So Let's fold this over. Okay. 
And let's burnish. Okay. So now you have one inch, half an inch, and half an, half an inch. We will make a little V shape right here from the beginning of the page to the first score and we will do that on both sides just like that so now I have two scores in here the reason for it is I want to create a step right here so when we close that and we are writing something in our notebook this is going to be nice and flat so the first score we will align with that indentation right here just like that so if you want to make sure that you position this correctly you can just fold over the page and align it just like that so we will apply the glue onto this one inch and half an inch just like that I'm positioning the first score right where the pen page supposed to bend and not here on this side just like that so now so you see when you bend this you have a really nice angle in here and that's the additional page we just created so now we can start cutting the paper to cover the front and the back for the front, I think I showed you before, I really like to run the spatula where the spine is. This really will help us to identify where to place our paper. So as I mentioned to you, I will use this one to cover the front. So first we will cut eight and a quarter and this will be the height. Now we need two pieces, five and a quarter. We got one piece left. And this is too short which is okay it's too short for the flap but it is long enough for the spine since the spine has to be three quarters of an inch so three quarters of an inch I will position it just like that to make sure it's nice and straight And I will cut it just like that and then cut straight which is okay all right so we got one three quarters of an inch we got the leftover piece which we pre-cut to eight and a quarter and now let's cut Three quarters of an inch and we need one piece one and three quarters
So now we will glue all the pieces just like that. Now, if you glue this flap, it's okay, you could do that. But then you have to be careful because if you use any other color for decoration, you will cover this whole thing. So, if you want your cover to have all of the same color, you could do this. If not, we will not glue this flap. I guess instead of this flap, I'm planning to use this paper right here. And I will pick up this one to size. So let me just trim it a little bit. And I'm going to need one and three quarters. by I'm gonna trim this a little bit more I want more of a design on the front so this will have to be eight and a quarter just like that and I will apply this one right here I didn't want to place this upside down since this is directional one so when you apply in the last panel make sure that when you close your piece When you close your piece that this is not upside down so this is how my cover will look like so since I'm right here let me put my Makala sticker and the outside cover is completed So now we can work on covering the inside. To cover the inside, I will use this paper from Plaid Collection. And we will cut first eight and a quarter. Now we need to cut five and a quarter. And we will need four pieces of a little bit less than half an inch. So we got one. three 
and now I cut only three because I want to cut five and a quarter out of this piece. So as of right now we have five and a quarter with five and a quarter and pieces, three pieces, a little bit less than half an inch. So we have this piece left. We will pre-cut also to eight and a quarter. We're gonna cut fourth piece, a little bit less than half an inch. We will need three quarters of an inch. So let me just trim this. Three quarters of an inch. And we need one piece, one and three quarters. And that, that one is for the flap. So we have this one, we have this one, we have the flap, we got the one inch, and we got four pieces for all those small spine places. So let's glue this. Okay, and now the small pieces. Okay, so now as you can see we have most of it done, we just need to cover this one and I will use the same paper. Now I covered, I covered this, this panel because I will make this one removable but if you would make this notepad non-removable, you don't really have to pl uh, put anything underneath because you would have just the black trim all around that. And I think that would be beautiful also. So for this panel, this one measures five inches. So we will cut another sheet to eight and a quarter. By four and three quarters.
Okay. As you can see, our cover is done. And we have additional page. Now, this page you should be able to bend either way, this way or that way. So now we will work on a notepad. So as you can see, you could place notepad just like that, just glue it, and that would be all of it. We will decorate the front of the notepad and we will make it removable. So. I do have some paper left, so we will put play, uh, place paper just like that. We will fold over one side and I like to remove it just a tiny bit, maybe one eighth of an inch just so it's easy for us to replace that page. Okay. Now, wherever this is overlapping, I'm putting my finger right here, just so I can see up to which point I need to place the glue. And I'm not going too close to the edges because I don't want to glue the notepad. So now we can apply the glue on a band. And we can position it in place. Okay, so as you can see, it's easy for us to remove it. Let's just make sure that this is all glued. Okay, so now we can decorate our notepad. And I do have paper left for, from another project. And this is the paper that I mentioned to you. This one came from um, my special collection that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And I'm going to use this for decoration. So we need to pre-cut this to size. The notepad is 5 inches. So I will cut this paper to 5 inches and maybe 1 16th more, just a tiny bit more, just to make sure that we can cover the entire front. Now the height of the notepad is 8 inches. So. I will cut this paper down to 10 inches. Now, when I cover this front, as you can see, because we cut it just a tiny bit larger, now we don't have a problem covering this. So, I am not going to glue the front, we will just fold that create that crease right here on both sides and now we will fold and burnish so let's try it again now we're going to work on the second crease right there so with your fingers just create that second crease 
just to have an idea where we need to fold this. And we will burnish. And this will be our cover. Just like that. So now, I mentioned to you, I'm not gluing the front. We will just glue the top of that notebook. So I'm putting glue on that half an inch space and all the way to the end. So I'm going to stand this up again just to make sure I'm gluing everything straight. Just like that. And now let's make sure that this all adheres. And we have our cover done. Now on this side I see a little bit of paper peeking out so I will just trim it with the knife. Just like that. So now we can put this notepad back in. And as you can see, we have no problem placing this on the inside. And as you can see, this is the reason why I made this little step in here. Because when you open it, everything is nice and flat. Now, on this side, it will be also nice and flat just like that because we will place something right here now on this side if you fold this and you close this you can see that this separation it's laying perfectly flat so we can't put too much stuff in here, but I do want to make some type of decoration. So I will just create a band. And I think I'm going to just use the leftover cardstock that I have. I got some pieces left over. So this one will go from the top to the bottom. I will trim this to I'm gonna trim it to two inches. And since I have this out, I could use this paper to overlay it right here on the front but I have another one with this beautiful design and I think that's what I'm gonna use so now I am cutting strip inch and three quarters Trim the bottom. Now this piece is eight and a half. I will trim it to eight and a quarter. And this piece. I think I will use the top. So I will cut this down to 8 inches. So now I will apply this just like that on the top. Trying to position this on the middle. Okay, 
and we will create little band. So we will apply just a tiny strip of glue on the top and the bottom. Just like that. And as you can see, we're going to be able to put something right here on the inside. Little notes from your notebook. I can actually tear one page, two pages. And we can place it right here. So this side is done. So now we will work on this side. On this side I also don't want to make nothing too fancy in here because I don't want to create too much bulk. But what we could do in here is create another small packet so I will use for the packet I will use this paper and we're not gonna make anything fancy It will be two and a half inches. It's a matter of which design we want to use. And I will make this one eight inches. I'm looking as to which part I want to actually see. So that's why I'm trimming this way. And we will place the glue only on three sides. Just a small strip of glue. Just like that, here we have our packet. It's not dry yet. Okay, so on this side, I was thinking of making this side with your sticky pads, sticky notes actually we can position this way or we can position them this way it doesn't matter, it's totally up to you and there are four of them coming in a packet. But I used one. Let me get another one. Okay, so I had one extra one. We will just position it just like that. And I'm not making them removable. If you need to change them or add another one, the backing is so thin that I think you can just glue it right on top of it. Okay, so 
so we got little sticky notes and now I thought it would be nice to make it space for a few of your pens, pencils just like that so to do that we will cut a little bit more of the paper and I think this is getting quite busy so I have this one left and I will use this to create the pen holder so I will trim this too inches and we will score now there are different ways of doing um, pen holder for multiple holders but I think this is a really easy way to do it so we're gonna score every half an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, Okay, so the pen holders will be half an inch, so we need five panels, so right after one, two, three, four, right before the fifth score, I'm just going to cut this. So we need five panels. One, two, three, four, five. And cut. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm cutting right on that score. Okay. And now we can just glue these to make the pen holders, individual ones. I think we could do one pen holder with separations, but I just think that this is really easy to do it this way. depends if you want to put three four however many you like and I think I'm gonna put it put uh, three of them okay that's one and I'm trying to glue this where I have actually double wall where they are glued together so here is the second one and the third So as you can see, those are individual ones. 
so you can put them even sideways if that's what you like and you can use you can keep with you different colors I know that some of us we like to highlight this one is open so let's close it All right, so as you can see, when you put this, when you open this and you want to write something, this is nice and flat. That's what actually I try to accomplish. So I do have some little tags, I guess, from different projects. So we can decorate our notepad. And maybe you want a little tag saying thank you if you're giving this to someone as a gift. Or maybe some kind of cute message. I'm going to put this one live and adventure. Now we have our packets. As you can see we can place something right there. Right here. So now the only thing left is the closure. As you can see it's a beautiful presentation even from the top or the bottom. I think this one just came out beautiful. So we will apply Velcro. Now the first time when you open it, be careful because I have done it a few times, I just ripped the whole thing. So as you can see, beautiful presentation. I hope you like this project. I hope you enjoyed watching me making it. I think it came out absolutely adorable. If you like it, please hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. All of those things really help my channel grow and you guys have been very good to me so I really do appreciate and I hope you like this project and I hope to see you soon in my next video.